Okay, so guys, uh, we're on our session number four, which is our last session. So here we're gonna talk about how to identify structure. We're gonna talk about the structure of the market. So first thing first, we're gonna start from H4, like I said, and check what is it that we see from H4. So from my H4, this is what I see. So I'm gonna focus most in, at this point here. So I'm gonna go for my current highest point, which is this point here. And then I'm gonna go for my current lowest point. And then I'm gonna create the trend from my current lowest point to the highest point. I want to create the trend again here. So as much as I can see, the only thing that made me to reverse was the resistance. So as much as we know the market respect resistance as well, hence it moves zone to zone. So here, I'm going to create another trend from this point to this point. So this, I call it the market structure. So as much as you see is that when the market touches at this certain point here, the market will shoot up because it will be experiencing a third touch. So here we have our first touch and then second touch. On the third touch, we'll be pushing to the top. Generally, we might break this point or create a down bottom, come back and, and break this certain point. But as much as we we not we not having break this point, we'll be expecting buying opportunities. Hence, you can see here it's just an impulse correction, impulse. We might create a correction so that we can create an impulse move. So the market is simple. This we can say this was actually our trend inside a trend, which I like calling it the major trend. This is our major trend which gives us the whole process and direction but that one is the major trend for me in order for me to know which direction i will actually take so after i break out of a major trend which is inside the first one we always experience correction and after the impulse we'll be experiencing a correction again and an impulse again there so this what i'm trading here is that so even here you're gonna have the same thing that point to the top. Like this. So during the process, what you could have done here is that you're supposed to create trend inside a trend inside the structure. So, so that you can understand where exactly the market is going. So if you can check here, you could have had something like this again create another mana structure inside the mana trend so you see when it breaks here you enter close outside it test do a correction and impulse move uh breaks out here you enter again you could be making a lot of cash same applies to when we go to the back and check the market again on the back test trend So when you have the structure of the market, you just play inside it. When it breaks out, closes outside, this was the candlestick that closed outside check. You just entered, short losses, push to the top, just an impulse and correction, you merge. Same applies to this point. Break out, close outside, come back, retest, push to the top. So this was a, a rising wedge. So a rising wedge in most cases, it gives an impulse move, a correction, and impulse move to the bottom. So it always becomes, uh, okay, can I, let me go back to the chart.
it's always like this goes to the top so a rising wedge it's also a reversal one so it does this and then it comes create it like this like this until it's shortened then become like this then the next thing it pushes to the bottom so how can you identify that depending on which point you add that's how you're going to identify uh, a rising wedge falling wedge i mean so as much as you can see here we had an impasse then we corrected like this that's when you could have realized that once you like that then you're gonna break to the bottom same story guys you know the market moves with trends this was your major trend at first i think we're gonna take it uh at this position here this was just a correction impulse correction impulse movement so the market it's built up with correction and impulse movement nothing more nothing less if you can check this could be you inside eating inside the trend hitting until to this position so you want to be focusing most on this position because this will be the most position that you're going to be milking on so here you just wait for rejection after rejection you milk as much as you can check here there's one two three touch reverse so always when the market hits our third touch it reverses one two three reverse So now we're gonna go to uh US 80. Let's start by German 80. Same story, we're gonna start from a hard time frame. This is our H4. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna create our highest point which is at this point here you know this is just our current highest point so now i'm going to show you the structure of the market the point which i know that if we come back we're not gonna pass this point here as much as we're at this point I'm not going to analyze anything here, but I will backtest the chart for you all. So for me to say I'm not going to analyze, I don't want you to say this thing is going to be valid here. This is just a correction. Monday will be pushing to the top because as much as you can see, we break our current highest point, and then now we're about to create new highs. So German 30 can come here and reverse. If you can check Nasdaq and US 30, already done a lot of things that German has to do as well. So if you can check here, we had our major trend at the certain point so remember i said when you have a major trend you need to understand that once you break it will always create correction and impulse during the process of building up that trend we will as well create correction and impulse so it matters as well so if we were to check here we could have created our trend inside a trend here and then break out close that side push to the top after breaking up you know, after breaking a trend, you need to have sort of like a correction and impulse. So we had a correction and impulse here. So this is a structure. So when you, you're determining your entry point, always add up support like this. This is sort of like your head and shoulder here. This is a shoulder, your head your shoulder and your head so you get the point then you push to the top so correction impulse head and shoulders build up by correction as well so here it was sort of like a correction and a retest on the on the chart so beautiful one and then it broke out push to the top same story to this point. Correction and impulse. 
push to the top. So this is what I want you to see now. We're having a diagonal correction. So we're not gonna pass this point here. So as much as I would say this thing, we had an impulse movement at the back here. Impulse, correction. We wanna have an impulse move again. This was just an impulse push to the top. So now I'm gonna talk about my stack. So this is the point whereby I know that if I come back, I won't pass here. Yeah. I'll come back and retest at the end of the day so that we can create our support and risk check. If you could have got any entry here or if you watched my videos here on YouTube, you could be milking until this point here if you only you listen to those videos. So this was our current previous lowest point. And then here we had a major trend. So you can see that the point that the market was building up in its buy, it was just a correction and impulse move. Only us who didn't think. If we were to put our minds here we could have, and focus, we could have seen this thing. Same movement as German 80. If you can check here, this was our support here pushing to the top. We had a major trend inside a trend here, the first one. And then we broke push to the top, broke, and then we broke the major, retested, push to the top, we had our correction here, and then we pushed to the top, the only thing that was pushing us, it was correction and impulse, so if I to go to H1 or M3, you're going to see a lot of correction and an impulse movement, here we had a correction, So like I always say, the shape of the market is the only thing that will advise you. This was a correction here as well. So sometimes you need to wait for the market to play out so that you can understand where exactly are you going. Because in most cases, if you force yourself inside a trade, you'll always blow an account. So you just have to let the market give you the major direction of it so that you can understand where exactly the market is going. So if the market were to break this point here, that's when we're gonna say we are on our selling mode because I saw here we had a third touch at this point. One, two, three, that touch pushed to the top. Hence, NFT sold to this point and then the next thing it was pushing to the top. So even going down guys, go by correction and impulse. We'll be respecting another trend for us to be going to the bottom like this. Here we had a correction and impulse movement, breakout, retest, gone to the bottom. US thirty. So this will be our last thing that we're gonna analyze for you all. Okay, we're gonna remove everything with one. Lowest point. This is our current lowest point, guys. Check. If you could have listened carefully, you could be here with your profit. If you have our YouTube channel, you could be there because we analyze this by from the bottom. This was our current lowest point. We knew that we're gonna create new highs. So from this point here, create a trend from this position. Okay, let me go to H4. So guys, on the trend, in most cases, I like to say two touches matters. Two touches are the only ones that create the trend. 
trend is not like support whereby we will see that here at this certain point the market will come back and reverse no trend creates by two touches then it's a trend so this was the structure of the market of of usd one two three the third one the other one has to create a down bottom in order for it to keep us pushing to the top so during the process if you were to check here from this back here if we were to retest from this back understand that this was a breakout this was a retest boom but the retest how you were going to kill it it's a correction and impulse as well correction and impulse so in most cases you need to be vigilant in order for you to see certain things like this because if you don't be vigilant you might not see them and then you feel like the strategy are not working you're the one who's not working not the strategy Trend inside a trend. Okay. Breakout. It's all. So same story, guys. Uh, here we had a, a horizontal correction. So there are a lot of things in the market. If you create, you can come back. You had a double bottom here. One, two, created correction impulse movement. So you could have realized that there's no way you can come back there. So here we had like a double top and went to the bottom. We had our third touch, I think, here. 90% rule. Reversal or rejection. Once it comes back, you enter a buy, push to the top. Check where it at now. So here you can create sort of like a trend from this point here. You know that as much as you keep on touching here, you're going to be pushing with your buys. But once it creates this trend, you know you're going to be selling. So yeah, this is how it is, guys. This is actually our, our structure. So now we're going to talk about zones. Then we'll be done with the session. So the zones is not an, a heavy thing. So I want you guys to understand some zone which I had up during the process when I was analyzing the chart. So we have a zone, a diagonal zone, which is like this. So this zone is like this, guys. If the market goes up, come back again here, which is a second touch and then goes up again, we create a trend. On the third touch, we expect a 90% rule of a reversal going to the top. Same applies to the top. If we don't have the third touch, we need to give it what a third touch or a towel bottom here on the resistance. So in order for it to break. And then we have another zone, which is diagonally. If the market comes and touch here, give us a proper rejection, it will come back and reverse at the same point. So we're gonna remove everything, talk about zones, and we're done with the session. So if you have to check here, the market came touched here, on the other side, and then here you'll wait for rejection. Once it touched, reverse, push to the top. There's your zone. So zones, typically, it's something that stop a big movement in order for it next time it will create another big movement. So in most cases, if it creates a double bottom, it's not easy for it to get broken. So if you can check here again. So most can say why it broke this one. I'll tell you why. Because this wasn't the second one. This was the third one. So always on the third one, it has to break. You see? This was the third one, hence it broke check. One touch went up, second touch went up. The other one went up, we ate, but it came back and broke. So the other one which will come here, whatever day it will be, it will break. So on the third one, it always breaks. The second one is the one that reverses. But then you still have to eat because in most cases, it doesn't re reverse immediately. So if we were to check here, we had our first touch, second touch, third touch, reverse 
it reversed if we were to go to a smaller time frame here obviously it reversed there's no way it could pass without reversing so zones you get them on the higher time frame this was your zone here touched reverse as well if we're to get a third touch we're gonna pass but we didn't get it same applies to your tops here the second touch of this point one two so the other one broke so always when when we break a point it means we already have a third touch so these are most people wish they don't put to clarity because they'll end up playing an account if you can check here we already had our second touch here one two so double top and then at the end of the day you expect it to reverse in order for, it will reverse but it will break because of the second touch but if we didn't have the second touch here we're gonna sell so those things they're applicable in everything so you need to always have them in mind during the process of yourself trading diagonally and even horizontally so guys uh, our session will end here questions you'll ask in the group